What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be covering uh, week one of commercial diving school, kind of what, have I, what did I experience in the first week of school. So uh, before I get started I just want to address one of the comments. Uh, somebody asked me a question um, in the comments and was wondering something. So just to reiterate if you guys have a question leave it in the comments down below i'll get to it in a future video um, someone asked can you talk about why you decided to become a commercial diver with knowing the risks behind the job um, one thing i would say is um, definitely money um, i know commercial diving you can make pretty good money um, and i wanted to get into that um, and then um, also where I live, I live in Hawaii, um, which is, I live on the island of Oahu and that's, you know, pretty much surrounded by water. So you're just, um, super susceptible to finding a job because, you know, water's everywhere. And, um, I was really looking forward or looking into commercial diving for that reason. Um, also, I just, I love the water, I love being a diver, ever since I scuba dove for the first time, um, I just loved it, and I wanted to be kind of like an all-encompassing, like, diver, um, I wanted to get PADI certified, I want to be a dive master, I want to be an instructor, I want to get into technical diving, it's just like, I just wanted to open up to the world of diving, and just grow my education, um, through decades and then when I get older I can say I've done this 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 like pretty much almost everything in diving um, so that's kind of what pu is pushing me into commercial diving um, as a career and then later on I do plan on doing more of uh, like recreational diving stuff and instructing and stuff like that so um, another thing about that is um, I'm a big, I'm strong on um, doing stuff like I've never done before. So like to me in life, if you haven't done something yet and you don't know how to do it, um, find out how to do it. You know, like I was just talking about, I wanted to do dive master and mm -hmm. it's like when you do your dive master through Patty or whoever, um, I before I did it I was like how do you do that like literally how do you do that I don't know one person who has done it and I don't know like even googling it and all that kind of stuff I have no idea how it's done so you what do you do you call you you find out you apply you get into the you get into the class and right now I can do a whole entire video on how you can become a dive master like step by step and what do you do in the first couple weeks and how long does it take and like i can tell everybody and before that i couldn't i couldn't tell you like one thing about becoming a dive master so same thing applies to commercial diving for me and when it comes to the risks of commercial diving it's like yeah things do happen but there's it's, there's almost any risk in anything you do and um, there's so much safety that goes into commercial diving um, like OSHA it it's a big deal for them and it's pretty much everything that they're about and there's so many different trades out there that use you know safety and OSHA and commercial diving is just another one of them you have so many um, pre-dive checks and safety measures you put in place and there's even a safety community and it's basically like how much your company like stays safe like every day like are you in them like throughout the day are you checking everybody and being like hey that's not safe or hey I noticed this and like how safe are you really plays a huge role into the risks involved with commercial diving um, and yeah I mean the bigger the risk the bigger the reward um, but yeah so I mean you kind of have to look at it that way like yeah there's risks involved but do the benefits outweigh the cost 
Um, and for me, they do when it comes to commercial diving. Like, I really want to do it. Um, so that was my response to that question. Now, for my recap of week one, um, day one, Monday, we did the medical and then half the people, so half the people got their physical done. They did all the different um, parts of the physical, like your hearing and your EKG and all that kind of stuff. And the rest of the people got all their gear issued to them, minus a couple of things. And then on Tuesday, we basically talked about safety. Um, we had to read chapter one of the safety handbook, the core curriculum um, about safety, and we talked about it in class. And then Tuesday, I mean, sorry, that was Tuesday. Wednesday morning, we came in and we took our safety test. And then for the rest of that day, um, we had the ice cream social, um, we talked more about um, the diving equipment and the history of diving in a classroom setting, so um, which goes on to Thursday. Um, we actually were diving in the swimming pool all day, so we got to try out commercial diving, like all the suit and gear and hat that you're going to be wearing. We got to actually try it out for the very first time and see if it's as something that we actually want to wear and, and do for a living um, and then uh, that was pretty much what we did all of that day and then Friday we uh, we did the we went over our test we learned how to log our dives in our log book and we also um, did the veterans uh, pizza social thing um, and then we did our final admin stuff so that's basically a week one recap of what we did now on to my feelings and opinion of how the first week went um, I feel pretty good right now I feel like it went really well um, I didn't have high expectations coming in because that's just how I am but um, I would say that it it was pretty good in my opinion like for me um, I'm not too sure how everybody else is feeling but I know that the class that's ahead of us right now their class shrunk by half so they had about 20 people and now they have about 10 after the first week and that was um, because of the uh, hyperbaric chamber their ears couldn't clear um, and then some people they put on the helmet or the hat and they got like a little bit claustrophobic and they're just like no nah, I don't want to do this anymore but for us we started with 26 people and now we're down to 25 um, only because one person went home for personal reasons I don't want to share that with you guys because it was personal but just to let you know, it wasn't because of the, the reasons, the same reasons of the other class. So the hyperbaric chamber and the um, donning of the headgear, the diver's hat. So, um, so yeah, that's, I mean, that gives you kind of a picture of how it's going for our class. Everybody is, um, you know happy everybody's doing great everybody's supporting each other we're kind of the first week is kind of awkward with each other you kind of like not really in that mindset of camaraderie yet um, just because you don't really know anybody one guy pointed out that um, or somebody pointed out that um, they really want to get a chance to know everybody because they're going to be on comms which is uh, basically a radio so you can talk to somebody when they're in the water um, if you're tending them um, you want to know like a little bit about them um, just so you can get on like on a personal level just so you know how they are like are they you know anxious or are they calm or are they cool or how what kind of word, terminology or language do they use what kind of urban 
you know, dictionary kind of language do they use kind of thing. So um, as far as that goes, I know it's going to get a lot better. Um, people are just going to start clicking a lot better in our class and um, we're going to start having a lot more fun once we start doing more things. We're going to start talking about it as a group like, hey, was that fun? You know, that was cool. I like how that did that or whatever. Like, um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to next week. I'm excited um, and I'll po be posting more videos on uh, future days. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you want me to do a future video. I just released the video on all the dive gear equipment that you get issued in commercial diving school um, specifically mine was from cda technical institute so if you want to go ahead go back and watch that just like that video if you have any suggestions like that or you want to see anything leave it in the comments down below i'll make sure to do that in a future video but that's all I got, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.